Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a customer view of eClincher. eClincher is a social media management tool. So keep watching after the break and I'll give you my thoughts. eClincher is a social media management tool that allows you to schedule posts and keep the posts rotating so that you don't have to load up new posts for Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. You don't have to load up new posts every day or every week. So it's a, one of the key features is that it's a scheduling tool. Straight away I should say that eClincher is the sort of tool that you need if you have, I would say, around 50 posts of unique content. If you haven't got that many, it's probably not worth using something like eClincher or one of its competitors. If you have, and you're a content creator, and you're, you have a, a content strategy where you're producing new content on an ongoing basis, week after week, or, or maybe multiple times per week, an eClincher is an excellent tool for you. I'm going to run through a few of the features. So we've logged in. I'm logged in now. Uh, I'm going to link, put a link in the description where you can find eClincher and have a look at some of these features yourself. I can't do a, a completely comprehensive review because the video would be probably an hour long. So I'm just going to focus on a few key features. Adding accounts. So I already have some accounts logged into my uh, dashboard here. If I wanted to add another account, I select the type of account it is and then I will be asked to enter my password, give permission or a token, as it's known, uh, uh, for eClincher to, to use information from my Twitter account or my Facebook account or Google Plus or LinkedIn, etc. It's a fairly straightforward process. Sign in, give permission, and your accounts are added. Brilliant. Next stage for anybody new to the product would be to create uh, a post schedule. So this is Marketing Fundamentals. You can see here I've, I've scrolled to Marketing Fundamentals blog posts and I have a list here. If I wanted to import lists I could use CSS uh, to import lists or I could import them one at a time. Um, uh, I've uploaded the, the link, the content for the tweet or the, or the update and then it's automatically pulled an image from the corresponding page on the website. You can, in the event of, of, of YouTube, for example, using YouTube, you, you might want to use a different, uh, a customized thumbnail, in which case you just add the image. You click on here to edit, and then you'd add the image. So uh, let me show you uh, how to do that. I'll just click on this one. So if I wanted to change this image, this is an image pulled from uh, a LinkedIn, from a video on YouTube about LinkedIn. If I wanted to change the image, I would just, uh, add an, uh, uh, a customized image there and, and I could change it but I'm not going to change it so I'll just save that so you add all your posts in Let, you can see I've got what, 296 posts on uh, my Twitter account just waiting for that to update now so it's saved so once you've added in your posts it may be as I say it may be 50 it may be 100 I've got you know, 300 here uh, you need to make sure that you create a schedule so I have a schedule here. If you look at, uh, so we're going to st stick with this account, Twitter uh, Marketing Fundamentals blog posts, and I'm going to preview my schedule. Right, so bear with me. I'm going to pick uh, Mike Pitt, Twitter. It's just calling up now. So this is the schedule that I've created for. Tweets uh, from Mike Pitts from my account. So it starts at 7 and then there's 10 minute intervals up till 9. If I wanted to add another one, uh, I can add another post by creating a new post. Let me show you that. Uh, so I, I should also say that I can quite easily delete all the posts, all the sh scheduled posting times, or I could copy them to another day. So I'm looking at Tuesday, I could just copy them to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I've already done that. I want to add, let's uh, imagine I want to add a new post. So click on new post. Right, uh, test post 
for demo. Okay, let's imagine I've added a link and an image. Uh, going to attach an image. So I'm going to go to blog post images. This is in the event of uh, wanting to change the image that's automatically scraped from uh, from the, the link. I'm just waiting for this to load. Right, so let's say I want to uh, use this image. This is just for demonstration purposes. So it's now uploading the image. Test post for demo. We're just uploading the image. Save. Save that. So if we scroll down to the end of my tweets and updates, you'll see that test post for demo uh, was now saved, and there's the image. And I, I'd also, if it's a real post, I'd add a link in, but I'm not going to go and shorten the link now because. Uh, that that uh, image relates to a post that's already in the in the library. So this is a content library uh, uh, list of scheduled updates. So that's been added now. That will now that po that update will now run on one of these days. If I wanted to give it additional prominence, I could go. I could just post it straight away, and it will now be incorporated into the mix. So that's how easy it was to add a post. If I ever think, ah, well, I want to add this post also to Marketing Fundamentals LinkedIn, then I can select the post. Let me scroll back down, select the post, go to bulk actions, and I'm sort of I'm going to have to remove this because this is only obviously a dummy post. I'm going to go to bulk actions at the top of the screen here, bulk actions. I'm going to say I want to copy this, so I'm going to copy that one that I've selected, and I'm copying it from from blog post. I'm going to copy it to Marketing Fundamentals LinkedIn. I'm going to tick that box, click Save. That post, the dummy post, is now being added to another queue. So you have a different queue for each of your social media profiles. So I have a obviously a Marketing Fundamentals on LinkedIn, have a Marketing Fundamentals on Twitter, have a Marketing fun Fundamentals on Google+, that's it, I'm not added in here, have a Marketing Fundamentals on Facebook. So you can, once you've made the post, you, you made the update, you've got the shortened link, and etc., you can easily add it on to one of your other uh, schedules. Uh, if you want to add the time to a schedule, so, oh, I've got 7 till 9, if I want to add to uh, 9, 10, I can just add either, I can put the time in, a specific time or I can add time intervals obviously I've been running with, with specific times that's really a quick overview of, of some of the uh, of the auto post ie content library and then scheduling features which are very important and um, very useful for social media managers and content marketing people also very important uh, is your dashboard so let me pick uh, an account pick a, a social media profile. I'm going to pick Twitter again. It's just populating now. This shows what's happening on my feed. So instead of me having to log directly into uh, directly into Twitter, I can see here, this is the home feed. These are tweets and replies. So if somebody has uh, mentioned me, I can see that here and then I can reply to it direct message is the same so I can do that for other accounts instead of having to log in for each one I can just click here and see it through the dashboard so that means that I can see the engagement as it comes in and I can respond to it I can like comment reply etc so that's another wonderful feature of eClincher I said in the intro I haven't I can't really go through every feature because this video would be too long but I, I'm I'm hopeful that I've given you a good overview of the tool and I've uh, identified its key features in terms of uh, building up a content library, building up a schedule, allowing that schedule to roll on so that once you populate it, it can keep going indefinitely. Uh, being able to uh, access the dashboard and respond to engagement as it comes in, so in real time, on your 
on the accounts that you load in and those can be accounts on obviously LinkedIn Twitter Facebook and then the same for any other brands that you're managing you may be managing brands for other companies uh, in the way that we do so it's a very useful tool and it's got quite a lot of uh, product up updates are made on a regular basis so if I was comparing it to a tool I used to use uh, uh, meet Edgar then it, it's being enhanced as a product on a more regular basis and it's a lot and it has more features the dashboard is really good for allowing you to respond to people as, as they engage with you and if you need to if somebody follows you you can quickly look at their profile uh, assess their uh, you know suitability and follow them back and make sure they're not you know a nonsense or a troll or a nuisance account uh, so yeah it's a very good tool I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching all the way through I look forward to speaking to you in the next video if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up I do appreciate it and if you want to see more videos like this do subscribe thanks a lot bye bye